With the oil ministry reportedly asking for a cut in excise on petrol and diesel in the union budget, Abhishek Manu Singhvi of the Congress said the current government was indulging in accounting jugglery. Taking up the ONGC agreement to acquire HPCL, Singhvi said this was nothing but an attempt to fool the public. ONGC and HPL merger is a classic case of accounting jugglery and will only add to the rising fiscal deficit. It is another way of using left hand, right hand, slate of hand to largely fool the Indian public. On Saturday, ONGC announced that it would acquire the government's 51% stake in HPCL for 36,900 crores on 474 rupees per share. This was at a 14% premium to the latter's closing stock price on Friday, much below than the streets anticipated of over 40 to 50% premium. For the first time in India's economic history, so I want to make two points in the context of oil and petrol. Point number one, for the first time in India's history, a cash-rich, government-controlled, virtually 100% government-controlled ONGC is going to take a loan to buy the government's shares in another government-controlled company, HPCL. The transaction to be completed by the end of this month will help the centre cross its disinvestment target by over 20,000 crores and end the year with a record 90,000 crores sell-off proceeds. To do accounting jugglery, it is getting ONGC in all probability with a loan of 30 odd thousand crores. So ONGC will take a loan of 30 odd thousand crores, pay it to the government of India to buy the shares of government of India in HPCL. Why? So the government of India can fool the public of India by showing that we, the government of India, have not taken loan. Our deficit looks good. Our borrowings look small. But they forget that the borrowing is done by their 100% government of India company called ONGC. दो हजार चौदह पंद्रह में चवालीस प्रतिशत कम था टारगेट से दो हजार पंद्रह सोलह में बयालीस प्रतिशत कम था पंद्रह सोलह में सोलह सत्रह में बीस प्रतिशत कम था व्हाट इज दिस टॉक अबाउट वन नेशन वन टैक्स यू हैव गॉट अ नेशन विद Petrol, not even one tax, two tax, three tax, out of the tax system altogether of GST. If you had GST, could you levy 71 rupees? And I include diesel also in it. This is another very bad form of chicanery. Day one when our government came, from day one, from day one when this government came, we have been demanding petrol. In fact, we have said even alcohol and real estate should be there.